All right, guys. Uh, this is Chad from the Shaving Cadre. Um, I got home early today from work, and I figured I would take a minute to uh, put this quick video up for you guys because there's been some ask about how my den looks. Um, so I'm going to kind of walk you guys around a little bit and show you where I hide things, um, how I hide things, and what I've got. So there's going to it's going to be a little bit choppy because I'm going to pause and play and stuff like that because I'm going to have to walk out of the bathroom into my bedroom. And I'll be honest with you, my bedroom is not the cleanest right now. Um, we were had company over and we're focused on getting the areas clean where the kids are at and all the time and getting that type of stuff taken care of. So I'll quickly show you guys through what I've got out. So um, real quickly here, I'm trying to show you guys. This is my side of the bathroom. I won't show you my wife's because she's got her makeup and stuff out, but as you can see. So we'll start here. So you can see here is just kind of my uh, basic razors that I'm going to use on a daily basis. And then here I've got my other items, T and Dickinson's, I use a lot, mouthwash obviously, my Floyd Blue I use a lot, Lucky Tiger Hair Tonic, Osage Rub. My ProRazzo green because I'm doing a lot of ProRazzo. And then this right here is Connor's shave of the day. Yeah, Chris Lindsay, thanks for sending that by the way. Connor's really enjoyed it. Um, I've got my Kent comb here for when I do my hair. I've really loved Groom and Clean for those of you guys who are looking into pomades and stuff right now. Um, over here, what I've got is just a few different of those small aftershave bottles that came, my Seal Bigelow's, um, my water pick that I like to use, Alum Block, allergies are really bad this time of year, got that there. Um, this, this used to be, the, yeah, and then uh, here you guys go, look, look, look at that. As much as left over here in that corner where my thumb's pointing. I think I'm gonna poke through soon. Here are my strops. Nothing spectacular. This one courtesy of CB Lindsay. This one also technically. I don't remember who gave me this one. Um, so anyways, here. Let's see, there's a good angle. So this is a, another little camp comb that I like to use for my Attempt at a mustache. I'll, 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 get, I'll cave in with you guys. Fine. Um, over here, different single edge blades. This is primarily all my colognes, different colognes and stuff like that. There's two rows here. My uh, nose trimmer. Gosh, they don't tell you that, but once you get near like age 25, I think, you gotta invest in a nose trimmer. All right, up here, all of my different Avon bottles. I have some golf ones too, but I put those in storage because they're empty. After a uh, spider, Mr. Uh, KJ sent me some stuff. So this is the brush that I used two shaves ago, and this is the brush that I used this shave. So I keep them out here that long to let dry. Um, this, and then I keep this here, actually, with a blade in it that I don't know how many shaves it has on it. Why? Because this is my cleanup. If I need to touch it before I go out on a date or something like that, that's what I use. Okay. Just have a fun stuff. I'll open this up. So you guys got a partial view of this on my Memorial Day shave. So, up here, these are aftershave bottles that as you can tell are kind of similar in size. I've got a bunch of Sterling. Zoom in back here, a bunch of fine, a bunch of other stuff, some Captain's Choice items in here, the Kraken's hiding in there, my chiseled face is in there, in the very back corner, if you guys can kind of see the cap, it's the SV 70th. There's all of my uh, store brand ones that I decanted into bottles, and then some Schulten Old Spice Fresh Lime, that one has the atomizer on it. All my brushes. Quick peek, I did try for a while to hang brushes with magnets. I didn't end up liking what I did. Those two are the casualties. I didn't like it. 
You had to glue a magnet to the bottom of your brush. I didn't want to, I decided I didn't want to do that. So now my brush is here. I want to show you guys one. I haven't cleaned them yet. I was going to. I want to get you guys a close up. Plug in. Right here for one of our amazing, amazing hobbyists. Eric, look at this brush, guys. Look at the work and craftsmanship he did. Look at this thing. And then, like I said, I call it the Sadie brush for a reason. It's my daughter's name with the year she was born. Eric does such great work. Spoiler alert, can't wait to see the TSC brush. Okay. All right, not gonna pause you yet, soon. I'm gonna take you guys out here, okay? All right. So, directly under my now sink, you've got these two drawers. Let me open them up. Oh yeah, look at all that. Look at all of that. Okay. Let's get down in here a little bit. Okay. Let that focus for a second. So down in here, I've got sterling, raised, three rows, mind you, okay, going back. Sterling, uh, razel rock, one, two, three rows. My barrister man, Lava, is behind there. I don't know if you guys can see that. You might not be able to see that, I'm sorry. But trust me, barrister man, Lava's behind that. Um, up here on this top rack is some of my single pucks. So I've got like Sudsy Sopery, the Kraken. There's a, apparently I got a Williams puck up there. My God Reg round is up here. Um, Haslinger, the Sheep Milk. Um, apparently a WST Matterhorn is up there. Put those back real quick. I'll keep showing you. Oh, I love the Kraken. Guys, <laughs> that's one of those tier two soaps, Mickey Lee, where you gotta buy it if the scent's right. That's it. Here's my prized possession from Soap Commander. 2016 Green Spring Tester. Didn't win, but amazing customer service. They sent me a full tub of the stuff. <coughs> Sorry guys, get over a cold. Um, Uncle John's, that's some good stuff. Got some creams down here too. Over here I've got fine. And four rows, guys. Four rows of Soap Commander. Up here I've got some St. Charles. This one's the new spice. Ooh. A Dr. John's, so not Uncle John's, Dr. John's. There. Fairway. Katie's Bubbles Irish Coffee, that's good stuff. Um, and then, of course, my PDPs, number 63, and what I just refer to as the original. Nice lemony scent. Um, next thing I'll show you in just a second here. I don't really want to plug these guys because, I'll be honest with you, it wasn't the best experience for me. Um, but when I was first starting out, I subscribed to a thing called Luxury Barber. I sent you a box, and the stuff was kind of cool. It, it, it introduced me to some stuff, but the prices just started increasing out of hand. But these boxes are awesome. And so I'll show you what I do with the box. Uh, move my sandal out of the way, guys. I already changed. Because I was already outside digging in the hole looking for my wedding ring. So here are samples, okay? I've got some left, little bit left over of the CBL creams. Um, I need to buy a full puck of this chiseled face. Trade winds, um, Mystic Water Lilac. This is a good stuff. I prefer Jasmine though. There's a Viking sample down in there. There you go. Bunch of stuff. Just samples, guys. When I sell something, I usually raid my sample drawer and send stuff out with it, usually. I'm gonna pause you guys for a quick second and I will come right back. Okay, this should look somewhat familiar to you guys. This is where I usually take my photos. This is the side of my bathtub. This is that leftover of that uh, Blue Fougere Razor Rock. 
right here, Razor Rock Blue Fougere. There's four ounces left. It's up on the buy sell trade. I don't know why nobody's wanted it yet. If the price is too high, let me know. So this is where I put stuff that is up next, okay, in this corner. So tomorrow I'm probably going to use this any SoCal hipster or this one, the a and &E, Warrior of Howling Fjord. After those two are used, Chris is on deck with his rose oud. And then I also have here my bristle cleaner. I'm going to use this soon. Okay, I'm going to pause you again, go to the bath, the bedroom, excuse me, and show you what's next. All right, guys, so this here is a nightstand in my room, um, kind of near the bath, the bathroom entryway. Yes, you do see some dirty referee clothes. I need to get those washed. Hey, look, mail call. Not related to shaving, but hey, got to have whistles. And these ones are my out, no, my indoor ones, 115 decibels, these below. My outdoor ones are 150, guys. All right, anyway, top drawer up here. This is um, no shaving information in here. This is primarily, uh, let's put it this way. If there's an intruder coming into the house, I've got something that's locked up in here. Yeah, I think you catch the drift. All right, so down in here, um, I'll be honest with you. It's, this is my spill over right now. I, I do have my contacts in here. I'll move those out of the way real quick. Let you guys see what's down in here. There you go. That's good lighting. I've got an Old Spice mug with Old Spice in it, guys. Yes. Look at that. Still smells like Old Spice. I've got some Asylum Shave Works, the Royal Fougere. Vetiver have bourbon. I'm telling you guys, and I'm, I don't care what you guys say, K-Shave works, it's good soap. Some of you don't think so, I do. Give it a shot. I got mics down in here. I've got chiseled face down in here. I like banana. Um, I've got some Captain's Choice, North and 45th Parallel. I've got all of my Lisa's in there. I've got some Wild West shaving in the corner over there. The very back corner is all of my Beehive local to Utah. And then I've got my Nuavia Verde. Okay, I'm gonna pause you again. Show you one more, well, two more hiding spots, technically. Two more. Okay, so here we are on the bedroom dresser here, okay? It is dirty. I apologize. In here, this is a sock drawer. No underwear, I promise. I hide, this is dress socks and stuff. I hide my um, Saponificio Veracino in here. I've got these samples of the zoologist in here. I also have some razors of my grandpa's that need work. I won't, I won't shave with them. They need work. Just another one. Here's this too. That razor rock. I'm not a big fan of it. But yeah, all that's in here. Okay. As you can see, I've got this door right here. I'm gonna open this up. Okay. Let me move the dog's crate. Okay, let's get you guys talking in here. Oh lordy. Okay. So I kind of do something interesting in here. Top shelf up here, literally all the aftershaves you didn't see in there. And I have, according to my spreadsheet, 135 aftershaves currently in the den. So there's a lot, okay? I mean, I don't know if you guys can see how far back that goes, if it'll focus. There are shave sticks back there and also hiding back there is uh, soap that I don't like to use very often. Not because it sucks, but because it's so good, I'm afraid it'll run out. It's one of those soaps that I would use, and then it would be gone. And nobody can duplicate the scent. Yes, I, Coloniali. Love it. Okay. Down in here. This is all my other soaps. And it is full, guys. I'm, it is six deep. With about four or five soaps stacked on top of each other. I mean, 
I'll show you a little bit here. The Holy Caw, it got put in there. CBL Stetson. Chris, you are best scent you've made. Uh, do this in one of your newer stuff, I'm game. I'll pay you for it too. You, but you know that already. You know that already. Okay. Martin DeCondre. Sent to me. Um, that's nothing spectacular, really. Here you go, here you go. Clark had an A. I love this stuff. Rose fans, if you find this, buy it. Buy it. They don't make it anymore. It's unobtainium. Um, long rifles are in here. Got some awesome long rifles. Mama bears. Good stuff. Can't go wrong with it. It's good. Not gonna lie. I've got all my Haslinger in there. In the back. Oh, I opened it up and there's my tobacco. Guys, look. And I'll tell you this much. Yes, Tobacktober is coming to TSC in October. Guys, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Will it get through this October? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, some other unobtainium here. Bluebell. A couple of these. And he was testing out his tallow. Guys, oh my gosh, I wish they decided not to quit. You guys would have loved this. Spice rack, the great scent. Um, oh my god, guys, there is so much in here. Do I really? I'm not going to go through all of them. We'll be here all day. Um, maca root, um, L and L, Henriette Victoria. Some more CBL soaps. There's some Shannons back in there. There's another Martin DeCondre full tub back there hiding. This is going to be a 3017 victim soon. The Panty Dropper by Mickey Lee Soap Works because it's being re-released. Um, oh, here's one you guys probably don't hear much of. Honeybee Soaps. A quick plug for them. Great stuff, guys. Cheap, too. Also, if you guys that have hair... I know, Dave, I'm sorry, you're going bald. <laughs> Try their shampoo also. But this stuff, um, Honey Bee Soaps, so good. Her website sucks, though, to be honest. I think she knows that, too, but she doesn't care. Ah, I've got some Tiki the Captain back in there, Figaro, um, oh, man, Sapondi Paulo. Um, some Misses, too. That Cremo sandalwood that you do with a brush. Ugh, throw it away. Don't waste your money on that. Okay. Aftershave-wise, I, I don't have anything spectacular aftershave-wise, guys. I'll be honest. I'm not like Dave, who has... Um, who's a big frag head. Not that I don't want to be. I just... I'm a soap guy. And then I like Artisan, so I get the match soaps. That's what I tend to do. So, um... I'm going to close this up here in just a second. I'm going to go back into the bathroom so that my arm's not getting tired. We will close this up. So I'm going to put you guys on pause for one quick second here. Okay, so I'm back. I uh, got you guys set up now. Plug to my St. Francis Xavier basketball girls. I was coaching. Loved it. So that's the tour of my den, guys. Um, it's nothing spectacular. It's nothing great, but that's how I hide my stuff. My wife knows about it though, and ever since uh, starting the cadre, kind of Chris touched on this a little bit. She's been a little bit more okay with things, but I'll be honest with you, my, my purchasing has been going down. Not on purpose, it's just that I'm really at that stage where I'm very picky. For, for good reason, too. Um, so I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna wrap this up, it's already getting long and I apologize, but it's, that yeah, it was the tour, you guys asked for it, and that's fine. I am going to make a promise from this point going forward, for the foreseeable future, I will try to do one video a week. One. You've gotten three, three to kick me off, right? That's it. One last thing, if you guys read my journal, you know I've been beating myself up that I've lost my ring. So it was in the sprinkler valve when I put the box down and when I was moving, scooping the mud back in, I lost it. I lifted the box back up after digging it out. Guess what I found? I found it. Lost items prayer to the patron saint, Anthony, it works, guys. Um, but anyways. Um, that's the tour of my den. Um, if you guys have any other questions about how I store things, where I store things, what I do, let me know at the Shaving Cadre. Um, I'd love for you guys to reach out. Uh, you guys, show us how you guys, I think this is, I think this is awesome. These videos that we're doing here, you know, low key, I ain't doing anything crazy. 
But show me, show me your guys' den. If you're not, if you're not willing to take a video, take pictures at least. Um, I think it'd be neat. So thank you everybody, and I hope you all have a great rest of your Tuesday evening. You guys will see this Wednesday morning. So have a good one. Bye.